past few months all the talk in Albany and across this state has been about tier six and so-called pension reform and reducing the pension benefits for middle class workers. But we haven't heard anything about addressing the Wall Street fraud that damaged our economy. The collapse of the market caused a hundred billion dollars in losses in public pension funds. To date, not one dollar has been returned to those funds. Now, as a result of that, the losses caused a short-term increase in employee costs. And unfortunately, some have used that as an excuse to try to cut the pension benefits for teachers, nurses, firefighters, police officers, and state and local government employees. But that doesn't do anything, anything at all, to address the cause of the problem. The question we have to ask is why are we not addressing that fraud? Why are we not talking about that fraud? And why aren't we talking about making Wall Street pay for causing those losses? Now, currently, the Attorney General has broad powers under the Martin Act to prosecute the securities fraud. But pension funds, though, don't have an effective means to recover their losses. We believe the Attorney General should be able to sue on behalf of public pension funds for losses due to fraud. It's in the public's interest because those losses increase pressure on local and state governments. If we can get some of that money back, it will alleviate a lot of that pressure. And the last thing to keep in mind is this is about justice as well. It's about justice and amending the Martin Act is the first step to uh, gaining justice for retirees, their beneficiaries, and the general public. And last, the people who caused our economy to collapse should be held accountable and should be made to pay back for the losses they caused and all of the negative ramifications that have followed through till today.